So we're coming up to the end of a meeting and we're going to stop the recording. And this is going to be a video showing you two ways about how you can make sure you keep that video recording. We're going to leave the meeting and end it there. So that's also going to end the recording for everyone and the meeting. Great. And what happens uh, shortly after that, as we all know, the meeting recording will end up becoming available on the meeting invite. So it's stopped and it's been saved. Where has it been saved to? It's been saved to uh, my OneDrive because this was a private meeting. Now one of the, the catches here with private meetings and meeting recordings is we now have a automatic expiry. And that meeting uh, can sometimes be forgotten about uh, and we might still want that recording later on. So what we're gonna do is take that recording and, and shortly after the end of the meeting, we're going to either shift it to somewhere else where the rest of the, um, the team can access it and use it as a artifact later on, uh, or we can uh, set the, or change the expiry date, remove the expiry date so then it won't expire and it will stay here on the, uh, the meeting record or the meeting invite. So there's the meeting recording, it's finished saving to my OneDrive. There's a couple of things that I can do to make sure that we are going to keep it. Um, so let's click on through to that meeting recording. This is gonna open up in my OneDrive. Um, so I can see the meeting recording there, I can review it if I want to. Um, you can see down the bottom that it's already telling me that it is going to expire in 60 days. So one of the things that I can do is I can change that expiry um, I can select a different uh, uh, length of time, or I can remove the expiration altogether. And one of the advantages of doing that is that the meeting recording will stay with the meeting um, details or um, artifact object within Teams, and it makes it easier for people to go back to the calendar, find the meeting, find the recording, find the transcript, and anything else to do with the meeting. But another thing that we can do, uh, and this is also a good thing because information management, good rules are that things probably shouldn't stay in our OneDrive if they're supposed to be shared with our teams. So what I've noticed recently is, um, perhaps it's been there for a while, but using this copy to button or move to button, let's use the copy to so that we can leave the recording where it is to make sure it still works with, with Teams. Using copy to, we get quite a uh, convenient uh, way of being able to browse the teams and file uh, shares that we um, can access and that includes members of my team. So I'm going to go into the marketing team and I'm going to upload that to the general channel and I'll just copy that here. So very quick way to get that video to somewhere where it's going to be safe, it's not going to expire it can be uh, there as part of a meeting record along with the presentation and still be accessible to all of the team. So there it is, it's finished uh, saving and if we uh, can open that recording up um, then it is now, if you can see the address there in the marketing team just in the address bar, um, that it is not going to expire and it's also in a place where, um, where the team members can get to it. So if you like that tip, uh, then uh, there's plenty more where that came from as I discover things. I quite enjoy sharing what I find uh, as useful um, in the modern workplace. And so as the modern work mentor, I'm going to share that with you and we'll find the best way to apply it to the way that we work. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.